At first, I wasn't going to pick this fragrance up, but I was asked <laughs> my thoughts and opinions on Yada Candy. Now, if you remember, the original Yada didn't really blow my skirt up, but I was like, you know what? We're gonna get it, we're gonna wear it, and we're gonna talk about it. But if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe. Make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So TikTok is exactly where I heard about this, saw it, the girls is talking. So this is from Latafa and this is Yada Candy. This is um, another flanker to the original Yada. Now the original Yada, I wasn't like a huge fan of. To me, it kind of smelled like an air freshener and it definitely didn't give strawberry milkshake. So I was like already questioning the girls when this came out. It was like my expectations of this were pretty low for it. So before I get into it, Latafa, I got a bone to pick with you. So I remember when this was announced and they first put it up, the price was 39 50 I want to say 39.50 I literally got home that same day and the price went up by ten dollars so this retails for 49.50 I don't like that I do not like price gouging and I do see that when a, a Middle Eastern fragrance has a little bit of steam a little bit of chatter all of a sudden y'all want to tack on ten dollars $15 and I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. But when you look at the prices of Yada and her sisters, they're like $39. So why is this one an extra $10? And I wouldn't have said nothing about it if I didn't see that original price. And I was just like, y'all got me messed up. And that's honestly one of the reasons why I really was not enthused in purchasing this because I do not like price gouging. I don't know if it was originally a mistake and it was always supposed to be $49. But if you do see it for $49, don't get it. Wait till somebody got a sale or something. Because I just, I didn't like what y'all did. So I'm gonna move on from that. So I sprayed it and I was like, hmm. Okay. I can see what the girls were doing with this one. So my biggest concern was like, oh gosh, I hope they don't use the same must that they did in the original Yada. And it doesn't seem like they have. And if they did, it is a lot more tame. Or the other notes are just a little bit more pronounced. But I don't get that same type of air freshener that I do with um, the original Yara. So I was happy about that. I was like, okay, this is its own thing. If you wanted to know, oh, does it smell like something else? Does it, it doesn't, it's a standalone fragrance. I haven't smelled anything that's reminiscent of it. I thought this was a pretty decent fragrance. I thought it was pretty good. It is sweet, but it's not like super sugary sweet. The notes are green mandarin, black currant at the top, middle notes of strawberry fizz candy, gardenia, and base notes of sandalwood, vanilla syrup, musk, and amber. This is where I'm just like, okay, y'all was saying all this strawberry milkshake in here and there was not a bit of strawberry in it, right? But this one y'all saying is watermelon candies, but it ain't got no watermelon in it. For me, this is a strawberry puff. Think of um, the trolleys, the strawberry puffs, that, that's what this smells like to me. The candy might be a little bit sweeter, but you, of course you get that little grit, you know, the powderiness of it, where it's not like old lady powder or, or you know, baby powder or anything like that. So that's what I personally get from there. I'm, I'm sick and tired of y'all saying that it's, it's like watermelon. To me, it doesn't smell like it, it, it doesn't, but you know, that's why we're all different. When it came down to performance, I was like, okay, let's see how this baby rides out. And surprisingly, it lasted on my skin about seven, almost eight hours. Like I could really just smell it in the little bit of wafts, but you know, towards the end, I can still definitely smell it on my skin, which I was okay with. I was like, all right, well, she's she showing up to work, okay, because I was a little bit of nervous with this one. So for me, it's not something that I wouldn't necessarily 
like grab for. This is something for me, I would just top or if I don't feel like using like my good stuff, I and go about my day. For some reason, Latafa, specifically the, the these two Yadas, they don't smell like perfumes to me. It, it's very weird. Like it, it smells like something that smells nice and not necessarily like perfume. Like it's almost like a, a mist. Not body splash or anything like that. I'm not saying that, but it's like, like, it's a spray. <laughs> I'm trying to like find other words, but nah, it's just like, it smells nice. It's something that just smells nice and it's not necessarily something I would reach for. Yeah, cause I, I would have smelled this. I would have been like, oh, that's pretty. And I would have put it back on the shelf. Like that's kind of my mentality when it comes to it. But I would applaud like the launch of this and all that. They had a whole pop-up shop and everything. I was like, oh, Latafa really, Stepping it up. I think they have PR boxes now and things like that. So I was like, with the 10 extra dollars, you should be putting out a PR packages. But I think it's a really nice fragrance. It's nothing for me personally where I'm like, ah, scrub! It's not that for me. But to top it off with some of my fragrances, okay, we could do that. So that leads us to the layering combinations because mama has been playing. The first obvious layering combination is Yara. So Yada, I thought it was okay. It brought out a little bit of that must. Don't particularly care for this must, but it definitely pumped it up a little bit more. So this, if you have the two, a layer it. Cool, cool, cool. So I wanted to stay on the must train with Meliora. This also has black current. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna keep it juicy, keep it fun, keep it light. So Meliora ended up being a really nice combination. Everyone was talking about vanilla rock candy sugar. These do not smell alike at all. However, if you want your sweet tooth filled, you wanna layer these two together. Of course, this is a pear and vanilla to my nose. So mixing these two together, I think this is gonna be really, really great moving into fall. I think this is a really, really nice combination. And then just to keep it a little bit more summery still, I did layer a uh, Cayer Fusion, juicy with a little bit of powdered sugar. So I, I like that. And then the other watermelon fragrance that I do have is Aroma Baktique. When we're talking about watermelon, this is a watermelon. This, not so much, but paired together, we're gonna keep it cute, keep it fun, keep it lively, joyful. You know, so I was like, okay, that's that's that one is for like the young hearted girls. Young heart, run free to yourself be true. Why am I singing in every video now? Cause I, I was born in the eighties, we sing everything. But <laughs> another really, really good pairing, Minnie Mouse. Mini freaking mouse. If you just want that whimsical, like powdery, sugar, cotton candy, raspberry, strawberry, fizzy, pair these two together. Th that two, like that's what I imagine, like just Disney. That That's a full on Disney sweet tooth explosion. And of course we had to layer it with love don't be shy. If you like something sweet, I just bit my tongue. That came out weird. But uh, again, you can always use Oriana. I just didn't feel like bringing her down because I kept grabbing for Parfum de Marly fragrances. A layering combination. This one isn't, um, I haven't reviewed it yet. It'll either be before this video or after it. Aroma Concepts Avery Jewel. These two, powdery goodness not like powder powder baby powder sugared powdered goodness just these two oh this was fantastic combination if you like sweet ones i do have a couple of wild card um layering combinations because y'all know i'll be trying to step out but bianco latte add in that caramel to it 
it still smells like an air freshener, car freshener. But it is getting a little bit better. So I was like, let me try to bring out the vanilla. And I thought that was pretty nice. This one was, I don't even know how I, I ended up. I think I wore this fragrance and then I just was messing around with this one. Apple Brandy on the Rocks, Killian. This was an unexpected layering combination that kind of worked. I think you could layer it with like Eden Juicy Apple, but there was something about this particular combination. Yeah, I had wore this to work and I was like, okay, let me throw something else on it. I just wanted to spray this real quick and I kept getting like little wafts and I was like, ooh, I think I might like that. So I saw it was this and I was like, okay, this was a really unexpected um, like for me. I was like, all right, all right. And then my last one, because again, I was wearing this and then I like sprayed it on, Zelina Exclusive. This on its own is a powdery. It's powdery, is rosy. So I wanted to lean into that powdered sugar and then add a little sweetness. And this combination really surprised me. I was like, oh, this is giving grown sweetness. I was like, these two together, not half bad. <laughs> so yeah, overall, it's not, it's not my fragrance personality. I think I'm gonna start saying that. This is not my fragrance personality, as many as I do have, but I can see the appeal of this one. But yeah, I'm gonna see if I play with her a little bit more. So check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.